Harry and Meghan planning to visit Australia in October. The royal family's new glamour couple, Prince Harry and fiancée Meghan Markle, have prepared the way for their visit to Australia in October by meeting Australian veterans at an event to promote the Invitas Games for wounded personnel. The couple laughed and joked with some of the veterans including one who asked Mize Markle for a kiss after being greeted by Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull and his wife, Lucy, at Australia House. There were also sombre moments, however, as the family of World War I Corporal Alistair Ross showed Prince Harry and Mize Markle the Bible that their relative wore on his left breast at Gallipoli and which helped save his life when he was hit by shrapnel. While Kensington Palace has not confirmed that Mize Markle will accompany the Prince to Australia for the Games, Fairfax Media understands they plan to attend together and are considering a visit to the Pacific once the Games are over. Mr. Turnbull welcomed the couple by saying they would receive a rapturous reception in Australia. Australia and inviting them to visit Bondi Beach and his electorate. Prince Harry did not make any public remarks but spoke at length to dozens of Defence Force personnel from Australia and Britain, including those who want to compete in the Games. Prince Harry created the Invitas Games four years ago after seeing American programs that help wounded war veterans by running adaptive sports competitions. The event, taken from the Latin word for unconquered, has grown into a competition with sports including wheelchair rugby, wheelchair basketball, indoor rowing and paracycling. British Army Major Sally Fuller, who won bronze in cycling in the Toronto Games two years ago and wants to make the team for Sydney, said Prince Harry gave injured and wounded veterans a huge boost by creating the Games. He's inspiring in what he's done in mental health to get people who don't have a routine every day to get off the sofa and use sports in their recovery she told Fairfax Media after speaking to the couple. Nathan Jones, a flight lieutenant in the Royal Air Force who suffered a back injury while serving in Afghanistan, has competed in past games and believes they help servicemen and women recover. It's an amazing way to continue your recovery pathway after whatever has happened to you. If you've been through some hard times, the way it can pick you back up on such a global stage there's nothing really quite like it, he said. The oldest veteran, however, was Scotty Teasdale, who served the Royal Air Force during the Berlin Airlift in 1949 and later emigrated to Australia as a 10-pound pawn to work at the Woomera rocket range. Mr. Teasdale, now a volunteer at the Royal Hospital Chelsea, told Prince Harry he had made the right choice with Mize Markle, drawing smiles from them both. I said do I get a kiss, Mr. Teasdale recounted later. They both took a step back. The Sydney Games are expected to include teams from Afghanistan, Canada, Denmark, Estonia, France, Georgia, Germany, Iraq, Italy, Jordan, Netherlands, New Zealand, Poland, Romania, Ukraine, United Kingdom and the U.S. The couple are to marry on May 19 in a ceremony at Windsor Castle that has fueled breathless coverage in the British press including reports that Mize Markle's half-brother now calls her a phony Diana and is giving the greatest performance of her life. Mize Markle, the star of American TV show Suits, has impressed Australians who have met her over the past week during events on the sidelines of the Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting in London. Prince Harry and Mize Markle met Foreign Minister Julie Bishop and her partner David Pandon at a function on Friday, where they were joined by British Foreign Minister Boris Johnson in an informal conversation. Mize Markle wore a dress by Mayfair Fashion label self-portrait and a blazer by Alexandra McQueen, officials told Fairfax Media the moment she arrived. The Australian personnel who met the couple included Wing Commander Ruth Elsie, who has served in Afghanistan and Sudan. Personnel from the Australian Army and Royal Australian Navy were also at the event.